In this video, we'll take the height and slope information from a terrain and use that to drive the distribution of particles. We can then use the same theory to create effects like dust settling on objects. In our scene then, we have this terraform effects terrain and we're going to emit particles from its surface. Let's go to Insidium, X particles and bring in an emitter. Go to the object tab. We want to emit from an object. The object we want to emit from is our island terraform effects object we want to omit from the polygon area and the emission tab we don't have any speed and actually look we can put this on simulate so we get particles on frame zero and let's um so we can view these particles more clearly let's go to our island basic tab put our display color onto custom and put this on a really dark i'll just put it on black and then if we go to our emitter, emission tab, let's put this on shot. So now we have a thousand particles over that surface. Let's put that up to say a hundred thousand particles and they're all being emitted all over the surface of that terrain. Okay, so we can use the topology of this terrain to drive where these particles are emitted. So let's go to our emitter and we're going to go to the object tab and we're going to go to the topology tab here look and now we have the options to use the height of the object uh, let's have a look at that first so let's check on height and now it's saying that it, it will emit particles from zero centimeters high up to 200 centimeters high so if we just gradually start reducing this max height eventually look we're starting to lose the particles at the top so we can see that this terrain is about 81 centimeters tall so we can clamp that down or let's say we were wanting to kind of almost simulate snow covered mountain peaks we could put the max height up to say 90 so it's all covered and then start increasing this minimum height so let's say we want it about here but then let's say that we want these particles to kind of fade in at the moment we have equal distribution and then when it gets under this min height threshold we have nothing but look we can use this spline here now this is our amount of particles that are being generated and at the moment we're just getting full generation across this height range but if we pull this knot down we're going to get fewer particles in the lower down part so let's just put this all the way down and you'll start seeing look we've got this really nice thinned out emission of our particles over that kind of height range so that is really cool and obviously look we could thin that out further by pulling this knot through and then it re uh, emits those particles and kind of fades them in so that's pretty cool so we've got different uh, adjustments for height but we could also use slope adjustments as well so let's just switch off height so they get emitted everywhere and we'll go to slope and by default it is set to 0 to 90 degrees so we're getting full emission across all of those slopes but let's say that we obviously don't want maybe snow on the steepest parts of our terrain so let's reduce the max slope so they're not able look you can see that the particles are disappearing from the very steepest parts of our terrain now and that's exposing i suppose what would be cliffs and then of course you can mix the two so if we just put our height back on we're reintroducing that height so we're only getting it at the higher up points there's less uh, fewer particles the lower we come but they're being masked out completely from those very steep parts which could be the cliffs or whatever they may be now this is an example of using this just on a terrain because it's easy to kind of uh, visualize and understand the height and the slope but this can be used just on scene objects as well so one example would be let's just delete out that terraform effects uh, or just let, let's just switch off that terrain and we'll bring in a let's just bring in a torus something like that and 
let's just say there's a bit of scene geometry. We wanted to use particles on this, maybe to simulate some dust that had settled on this particle, on this object. So the way we do that, let's just make it dark as well. The basic tab, we'll put it on custom, just so we can see the particles clearly. Put it down to black. And what we want to do in our emitter, object tab, let's just switch off. Uh, that topology for now go to the emitter options we'll drag in our torus to the polygon area so now we've got particles all over our torus but let's say we only want this um to well imagine that it's dust that's settled uh, with a gravity on our um, torus so if we go to the torus uh, sorry to the emitter topology we'll put slope we don't need to use height and here look we're only putting it on uh, we put that up to 90 degrees we'll get that dust all the way down here but then we don't want it to be as thick here on the bit where some of it may have started falling off because of gravity so look we can just thin it out on the steeper parts something like that and then we're getting this nice fall off now you can you can see these stepped gradations because obviously the slope values are changing uh, because we don't have very many segments in our torus so to make that more detailed and a more smoother gradation of them falling off uh, let's just move that so it's really thinning them out but then let's just smooth out these we just need more um, more geometry so what we would need would be more pipe segments let's increase that there you go so as soon as we've increased the uh, pipe segments in our torus you can see that we're getting that and that could be nice kind of dust settling on our scene geometry so that's just a couple of examples of how we can set up particle emissions based on the topology of the object from which you're emitting the particles